What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit is back in full effect. I would also like to welcome back our good dear friend, the 1999 Mercury Mystique. Have your moment. What a car, what a car. On to more topical topics. Okay, I know this topic is about a week old, but it's something I've been pondering. So recently we just went through a big end of the world scare. I'm using the term scare very loosely because it seems the only people that believed it were complete morons and idiots. The rapture is coming. You don't want to get rapt. Unpleasant. The word rapture doesn't really sound that bad to me. Maybe if they called it the Velocirapture. Then I'd be like, oh man, the Velocirapture is coming? It has that weird high pitch kind of sound and it's going to get kills everything. I'm scared of the Velocirapture. This person's riding a bike in the middle of the road. It's the middle of the fucking road. Other people's kids. So this guy who had this end of the world prophecy put up billboards everywhere. He owns a bunch of radio stations. The thing is, this guy had said it was going to be the end of the world in 1994 as well. Spoiler alert, he was wrong. When you're wrong about the end of the world once, how do you get to make another prediction? And even more, how do people take you seriously again? The only person who could possibly be right about an end of the world prophecy would be a dinosaur, who would probably have said, you know, in his dinosaur language, the end of the world is coming because a great meteor will hit and wipe us all out. And all the other dinosaurs are like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Velociraptor. You don't know what you're talking about. What is that in the sky there? <laughs> oh my god, these cops are right beside me. People say the Mayans, all the, they, they knew what they were doing. They built a pyramid. 2012? <laughs> Whatever. I think if the world ends in 2012, it won't suck as bad as the movie about the world ending in 2012. If you survive the end of the world, is it really worth surviving? When you come up and it's a wasteland of nothing and there's no one really here except the mutants and the zombies, do you really want to be a part of that population? Do you have to repopulate with the mutants? Look normal. So what I want to hear from you guys is, do these end of the world prophecies even affect your life in any way? Other than it being a hilarious joke by laughing at the people who are actually taking it seriously? And in the end, if you take it seriously or don't take it seriously, is there really any difference if the world ends? Brush it off. That's what I say. So that just about wraps it up for another world ending episode of Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. I'd like to welcome back the 1999 Mercury Mystique. I would really like you to like, and I'd really like you to subscribe. So until next time, ignore all warnings of the end of the world, and remember, check it.